Mitro and Banduom, welcome to South Asia Maps. This is your presenter, Dr. Jeredi. <coughs> Excuse me. Mitro Nam, today we are looking at the fascinating topic the geographic regions and physiographic regions of Karnataka province, Karnataka state, and as a part 9, we are talking about Gulbarga Plains or Kulbaragi Plains of Karnataka. And this is, you are aware, our Karnataka series. And part 1, we looked at 15 geographic regions of Karnataka state. And today we are taking up a particular region. Geographic region Gulbarga Plains as a part of Karnataka series. Mitranam, if you are new to my presentations, you can go to YouTube channel South Asia Maps JRD. I have more than 527 and posted immaculately made presentations on varied diverse topics and all you can listen and enjoy and learn and about the South Asian culture, history, global geography, and human ecology, and so on. We have looked a broader idea of the part one, that is the 15 geographic regions of Karnataka. Today we are looking at this Gulbarga plains. Why it is important to look? When you draw the lines, you just see only like this. You won't get much about the land, terrain, habitat, geopolitical region. When you look at the geography, physical geography, how the, the plains, penne plains, plateaus, the rivers, gorges, water bodies look like, you get to more deeper understanding of the land. How the culture, history, human civilization are molded by the land habitat. That's the essential point. <coughs> Excuse me for my allergies. Today we look at this particular Gulbarga, also called Kulbaragi Plains. The physical geography, you don't get much, just the lines, oh, sorry, political geography. That's how the Gulbarga region of Karnataka province looks like. Here, you will know certain regions after this presentation. What is the Kagna River Basin? What is the Bhima Valley? Kamalpur Plateau regions? Shorapur Hills? Shurapur, you see the difference is there in spelling. Shurapur and Shurapur are different taluks, areas in historic Gulbarga district. They are now in Yadgir district, southern part of Gulbarga district. Mahadev Plateau, Kagna Basin, Gurmatkali. Gur there is a spelling mistake here, Gurmatkal. Here, spelling mistakes here, you know, you will know all this sub-regions after completing this presentation. You can see this, our center is the Gulbarga town and there is a Mullamari river basin here. This is the Kamalpur, this is the Kamalpur plateau and that's the water divide for Benitora river and also other side, Avajra river that is a tributary of Bhima. Benitora is also tributary of Bhima. There is also this, this is essentially a Bolgat region, the broader. So this is the, the Bori River, the border to uh, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Next to Afzalpur town on the banks of Bhima River is present on between these two rivers. Bori River, Avazra River, Kamalpur upland, there is a town Kamalpur. And this is the Benitora River. This is the Mullamari. They join a river called Kagna. Kagna Basin. That comes from Tandur, Vikarabad here, Anantagiri Mountains. They are like maybe 50-60 kilometers west of Hyderabad city on the Golconda Plateau. This is the Bhima River here. Bhima joins Krishna at the border between Karnataka and Telangana. So other parts of these subregions are Yadrami. 
upland regions and Shapur upland region and Shurapur. You see the difference. Shurapur is sometimes spelled as a Shurapur. The letter O is important. Letter A is important. Shurapur, Shurapur and Shapur. Shapur, Shurapur. Shurapur is sometimes ruled by the Shurapur Nayak. So this is the Mahadeva Plateau region that comes from Maharashtra region. This is the Don River, historic Thalikota town, where the name of the battle Thalikota is used, even though the battle was fought further downstream and Rakas Githangadgi, but the original battle lines were drawn there. That's the Thalikota battle. So here we are doing the same thing. The Sina River giants in the border, Bhima River here, and we have and uh, Gul, Gulbarga town here, Avajra river and Bori river, Afzalpur town, Shurapur hills, Yadrami, this is Bijapura town, this is Singhi town, the Krishna river, this is Gurmatkal plateau, Kagna river, Benitora, Mullamari. For clarity, I have put here even though in the Bijapur plateau to make the story complete. Manjra river here this is a tributary Tirna, other tributary flowing towards North Karanja. This is the Kagna River. This is the Bijapur Plateau. We are currently looking further south, Gulbargi Plateau. After this, you will get a deeper idea in some other maps. The same thing, yeah. Here I have given little more explanation. You can see what are the regions adjoining the Bijapur Plateau, Gulbarga Plains. It's a very simple, even you need not uh, memorize it. This is the Gulbarga. So the border regions I have put like Golconda Plateau on this side and Upper Bhima Valley. This is the Bhima Valley, Gulbarga Plateau. I mean, this is the Upper Bhima Valley. That is especially Sholapur, Mohal and uh, Pandarpur and all those areas, Upper Bhima Valley, Ujjani Project and so on. So borders, Golconda Plateau, Upper Bhima, Bijapur Plateau on the other side and Raichur Plains further south, Raichur Dobe, and Bidar Plateau in the other side. It barely touches, I think, Dharwad region also, the borders. And the rivers, we also saw the river Bhima enters here, Sina enters here in the Karnataka province. There is the river Bori River, Avarja, or Avarja, Avarja I think, Mullamari, Benitora, Khagna. This is the what are the sub-regions we see? Gurmatkala plan. This is the correct spelling. Bhima Valley, Shapur Hilly region, Surapur Hilly region, Yadrami Upland region, the Kagna Basin. Sometimes the hills or ranges, I'll be using the broadly term upland. So you have to keep that in mind. Benitora Basin, Mullamari River Basin, Kamalpur Upland region. The important part of Gulbarga. Gulbarga is a major center railway uh, station between the Bombay and the Sindhu Sagar coast and Chennapatnam Ganga Sagar coast. Original Ryan round about 1817 was built by GIPR, Great Indian Peninsula Railway from Bombay up to Raichur somewhere down. So the Bombay, Raichur, Krishna River, it goes to Yadgir, Wadi Junction, Gulbarga, uh, Madras, we are starting from Madras. Madras, this side, the Bombay, Pune, Sholapur, Gulbarga, then Wadi Junction, Yadgir town and crosses Krishna River, goes to Raichur town, eventually to Madras. So that's the way. I will show you the Taluks in other place. The important part, historical part of this region is Seize of Wazinjara Fort uh, by 1704 March between the war between the Mughals, Aurangajib, Asabjad, uh, Nizam, as a young soldier at the time, General Zulfikar and uh, Rao Dalpat Bundela against Pidya Nayaks and Marathas. Maratha, the Pidya Nayaks are Nayaks of Berat. They are also called Nayaks of Shorapur. Nayaks of Shurapur, the same. Ramoshis are the last battle that uh, Aurangajeb fought. He has he conquered it eventually and uh, he contoned his troops south of uh, what was in a fort, a place called Devapur and near on Krishna River, and he felt severely ill. And 
the all the army camp was in utter fear all sides surrounded by marathas they finally persuaded the emperor mughal emperor to move to uttar bharat hindustan but the move could not be completed and he halted in ahmednagar moot ahmednagar january 1706 lived there around about 12 to 13 months passed away 1704 february that's very important i will also show the the taluks of this region that is Yeah, these are the taluk, the historic uh, Gulbarga district. You see, this is the area. So Shorapur, you see, also called Shurapur. This is Shapur. This is the Yadgir. This is the, you can see, this the Bhima River, right? Bhima River. So the border, this the Yadgir and Chitapur, Gulbarga town, Abzalpur. These three towns, Yadgir, Jawargi, Abzalpur, are actually on the bank of the river. Alan taluk, Gulbarga, Chitapur, Sedam. All these areas, this is the essentially uh, the Gulbarga plains or Gulbarga, uh, the Bhima Valley. So this is where the what uh, Vajinjara Fort is there. Bonal life, wildlife sanctuary. We will see in other place. So this is the Krishna River. This is the Shapur, the Nayaks of Shapur. This is Shurapur. The Shurapur town there, and this is the bird sanctuary, Bonal bird sanctuary, Vajinjara Fort. That is the Vajinjara Fort, Vajinjara Fort. I don't know. This will differently in Canada's Canadian language. This is the Bonal life sanctuary, and that is the last battle Mughal emperor fought. He was in Deccan for 25 years. He ruled in North India for 25 years. Reign was very long, almost 50 years. From uh, 1758 to uh, 1658 to 1707, so the Bonal Bird Sanctuary here. After the siege of that, he kept his troops for a couple of months at Devapur. Here is the emperor felt uh, felt severely ill, and that ultimately led him to move to North India. And finally, he stay. He couldn't move because of his health and. Here he resided nearly for 13 months, and finally he passed away at Ahmednagar Forted Town. So this is the Gulbarga district, and you can see here this is again the Krishna River Sri Shailam project. This is the Almati Narayanpur. That means always you can see the this is the Wadi Railway Junction. This is the Wadi Railway Junction, the Bima River. This is the Gulbarga. So here you can see the. Surapur Mountains. These are the Shapur Mountains. The somewhere here, the Bonal Wildlife Sanctuary. Here we have seen wildlife sanctuary here. This of course the Bijapur, and this is the uh, that's the Bijapur town north, and this is the Talikota historic Talikota. And uh, that is the these are the rivers we saw. This is the Benitora Mullamare, and this is the. Gulbarga. This is, should be the Solapur. This is the Ujjaini River uh, Dam, and here again you can see the Raichur. Here you can see the north of the Krishna River. You can see Shurapura Mountains, Gogi Uplands, and Shapura Mountains, and this is the Talikota, and this is the Bijapura. Bijapura. This is the uh, this is the Bijapura. This is the Horti Mountains here. And this is the various the river Kulbaragi town here, and it was the capital for many years of how many rurals the Gajis from North India who, and uh, Solapur here, Abzalpur. We can see the two rivers here, Bori River and Avajra River here. You can see them, and uh, we have seen this, and uh, we have seen that Devapur where Mughal Emperor said the historic in the. Before the Red Cliff Line, you can see the Gulbarga district, and Pargi now is in Telangana was part of Gulbarga district. In nineteen fifty-six, it was given to Telangana, which made the Telugu-speaking district in Andhra State, from the Andhra Pradesh. So this is the Bahamani rulers, the and uh, their capital that they ruled, and in uh, the ruler, the who moved his capital from Devagiri. As from Gulbarga, that was the capital for many years of Bahamanis. Is the Firoz Shah who ruled until 1422. After the death, his brother Ahmad Shah Wali moved the capital to Bidar. Firoz Shah ruled for years at Gulbarga, and 
thousand in Firozha, and it was his empire. And at Gulbarga was the capital, and it has five provinces: one in Telangana region, that is the Bungir area; other in Ilichpur in the Bearer region; one in the Western Balgat region, that is Junnar; other is in the Bijapur. So these are the before. This is the siege of Ozinjara. You can see the very important uh, battle, the last battle Mughal emperor fought. It happened in the part of Mughal Berad Nayaks, that is the Nayaks of Ozinjara, or Nayaks of Shurapura and belligerents and you see Aurangajeb and Tulfikar Khan, Dawud Khan Panni and Rao Dalpat Asavza Pediya Nayak. He was the Gajagandada. He was the originally the tributaries of Adil Shahis when Adil Shahi kingdom collapsed and he nominally acknowledged Aurangajeb, rebelled maritime again acknowledged and Aurangajeb got upset and because he was siding with Maratha. So this is the Mughal Emperor Aurangajeb leads the final expedition to Ojinjara Seas. That's the very prominent battle Aurangajeb fought. And the Nayaks continued. These are the Berad Nayaks. The last Nayak was Raja Venkatappa. And he rebelled against 1857. The British, British caught him and finally he was captured and he was informally uh, fired and he was killed in Karnul area. So he was the Raja Venkatappa Nayaka. He was the last Berad Nayak, the descendant of that Nayaks. So that is about the important, and we have seen other perspective. You can see here different perspective of uh, that uh, Gulbarga Plains. You can see this is the Benitora River, and this is the Mullamari River. This is the Bhima River, Krishna, Almati, and Nayanapur. This is the down river so this is the shurapura where the nayaks ruled their headquarters this is the sorapura this is the yadrami mountains here and krishna river tungabhadra here you can see this is the gurmatkal mountain range on the east chincholi uplands gurmatkal uplands on the east hope i think i covered all of them and uh, you can see the new year taluks they are little different districts also and uh, this is the Gulbarga region. And we also historically Yadgir, Shapur, this is Shurapur. So they are also part of historic Gulbarga district. Now is too. This is the, the river flowing, the Bhima river. So that we have seen earlier. Hope this will give you a proper perspective of the fascinating Gulbarga region, Gulbarga plains of Karnataka. Thank you very much for joining me today, Mitra and Bandhu. See you later in other presentations and if you like the uh, content, you can subscribe the channel and post your comments also.